Hello there, this is Mark Morgan, and I'm going to present here a brief, about four and a half minute walkthrough of the settings and iTunes preferences that need to be made so that your Bretford iPad sync cart will communicate properly and you'll have full control over the contents of your iPad set in your one-to-one -one classroom. Okay, so we're going to take a look. We're going to, um, so what you'll need to do is open iTunes, and in iTunes, hit the iTunes menu and click Preferences. Preferences will bring up a series of six sections, okay, starting with general, playback, sh uh, playback, sharing, store, parental, devices, and advanced. We're going to start with general, and if you, as long as you just mimic the settings that you see here, you'll be all right. I'm going to give a brief explanation of, of the key settings, though, so that you know what it is you're affecting. Okay, library name will show whatever your login name is under your iTunes account. And when it says show with these checkboxes, what this is, is it has no effect on the content of your library. What it affects is what will show visually within your library. And I don't know about you, but my personal preference is if it's in my library, I want to be able to see that it's there. So check all of these boxes. For some strange reason, they uncheck some of those by default. Okay, the other thing you'll definitely want here are, uh, are the settings down at the bottom. Uh, automatically retrieve CD track names from the internet and what that will do is it will automatically give the proper names to each CD track that you copy. For example, if you copy the Houghton Mifflin reader read-along CDs, they will all be labeled and, and each track will have the name of each story. So it's a big boon and helpful for most teachers. Automatically download missing album artwork. That just gets the, the cover of the album on there so that you can tell which is which. You definitely do not want to check for new software updates automatically, however. So make sure that that is not checked, okay? All right, playback tab. This one you can pretty much leave intact. All of these should be unchecked by default and you can just leave them as is. Sharing, this is important. If you decide to share your library on the local network, that's okay, but make sure you require a password and it'll ask you to enter this twice if you decide to do that. The reason that's important is if you have personal sound memos that you've created on a phone, an iPhone or an iPad, your personal device, those get saved into your iTunes library. And if you're sharing that without a password, that means everyone on our network, in other words, our entire district, can access your iTunes library, including your personal voice memos, which probably is not a good idea. So I would uh, uncheck that. Store. This is also very important. Because of the way we are controlling the app content on our iPads, you don't want one person's device controlling what's on all the rest. So in other words, if you have a personal iPhone or a personal iPad that you use apps on, that might not be what you want on your second or third grade students' uh, devices. Were you to check these, music and apps or books that you download on your personal device under the same iTunes account, would be automatically added here and that's going to make them wind up on the student devices so definitely uncheck that in fact you want all of these checkboxes unchecked you don't want to always check for available downloads because that's going to prompt you to download things you don't really want okay moving on to parental controls you shouldn't really need this if you're keeping control over what apps and music you purchase but if it makes you feel better and you want to put on some content restrictions you're certainly free to do so Okay, Devices tab. Here you'll see device backups. Now you shouldn't see a lot of these since you're just starting off with a new cart and new iPads. But as you create backups, and automatic backups are done, they'll start to appear here. That's not what's important to us right now though. The most important thing here is to make sure that prevent iPods, iPhones, and iPads from syncing automatically is checked. The second one is not so important but make sure that iPods and, and they're not syncing automatically. You want to control when those sync. Okay, and finally, the advanced tag tab. Uh, you definitely want this to keep the media folder organized. So that would simply keep them all in one place. If you ever need to move your library, that'll be a big help. And copy files to iTunes media folder when adding to library. Okay, all the rest should be unchecked. And that about does it. Um, we've gone through all six tabs. If you need to pause and play this again, please do. Just go through, and if you're not sure, just mimic all the check marks I have, and you'll be in great shape, okay? Thank you for listening, and I'll see you next time.